Hey guys, so um, first of all, I hope everybody had a good week. It's uh, Friday, and some of you probably had your very first week of respiratory therapy school, and I would love for you to comment in the comments below and tell me how that went, okay? Um, I'd love to hear about it, because uh, I, I know this exciting time, uh, starting something new, how it, uh, how, how much it, it uh, it's just fun, you know? And you're getting to know your professors, and you're getting to know your classmates, and you're excited about clinicals, and now you're learning all this stuff, and you probably have a test next week, and you're like, ah. So don't freak out. You're going to be okay. All right. Uh, I can also tell that school has started because we went from the summer semester with a lot of high-level mechanical ventilation questions rolling in to I suddenly have an influx of basic anatomy and oxygen based questions which is cool because that's what uh, kind of happens in education you get this group up and you work them through and then a year later here's another group that doesn't know anything right so it's so fun to me to see the new groups come in with the questions they have and the groups that are in their second third or fourth year heading out the door with the questions they have, there's such a vast difference. So I love it. So it's a lot of fun. I have a question here today that I want to uh, address. It comes from um, Noob Noob, which is, uh, I don't know if that's an indication of where you are in the program or not. I don't think it is because it's a mechanical ventilation question, but I love the name Noob Noob. It's like one of those, uh, my, my son watches YouTube videos and he's always watching Minecraft videos. And there's always new this, new that, new this. So I love the name, man. Uh, but let's get into it. The question is, is how does mechanical ventilation help a fever? I'm going to say it again. How does mechanical ventilation help a fever? The answer to that question is I don't think it does. The mechanical ventilator doesn't do anything for the fever. Okay? Now... I think the better question might would be here is why would you put or why would you uh, implement mechanical ventilation for a patient who has a fever? That might be the better question. Now, it still doesn't mean, I still stand by it, the mechanical, ventila mechanical ventilator doesn't do anything for the fever. Okay, so we're going to approach it like this, and hopefully this comes to light for you, okay? We're going to start with, y'all know I like doing these little trains of words. Just this leads to this, like, for example, high respiratory rate, high tidal volume equals high minute volume, high minute volume equals low CO2, low CO2 equals high pH. I love to break, thing down, break things down like that. So that's how we're going to break this down, okay? So we're going to go... Infection equals fever, fever equals hypermetabolic state, okay? Now, when you hear hypermetabolic state or when you think fever, you should think hypermetabolic state. What does this do? This creates a situation where the tissues are going to increase O2 consumption. And if you have increased O2 consumption, then you have increased CO2 production. Now let's focus on this right here. Patient with a fever ends up on a mechanical ventilator. If that patient can sustain their own oxygenation demands, the increased oxygenation demands, and they can increase their minute volume to rid the excessive amount of CO2 being produced now, then they probably do not need to be on a ventilator. But if the infection causes a fever, to the state that the patient cannot spontaneously support their own increased oxygen consumption and deal with the increased CO2 production, then a mechanical ventilator would be initiated to support 
this piece of the puzzle while the healthcare team focuses on this piece of the puzzle, which will deal with this piece of the puzzle and bring this back into a normal metabolic state where the patient can then support themselves, spontaneously breathing off the mechanical ventilator. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Please leave me comments, subscribe, like, anything you have, I'll talk to you about it. Uh, I love to get your questions. And if this doesn't make sense, comment below. I'll clarify.